What's up, SC Nation? Every once in a while, I get these questions that I really enjoy because the answer to that question is it depends. One one of these questions were came as a comment from one of the uh, videos that I made, and the question was, "What if you are an SE for a?" I'm gonna let you read that one. Product, and you have to sell it. And as I mentioned, the answer is. Always. It depends. I might start a segment that just, it depends. So, well, I drew a diagram because, I don't know, I'm, I'm a network engineer and we do diagrams, or I was a network engineer. And the question is, why does your product suck? Sometimes the products don't suck. Sometimes we just don't see the value. Or sometimes they suck. So let, let's understand why does the product suck. And the way I see it, there are three options why the product sucks. One, it doesn't solve a problem, so no one's gonna buy it. And as I mentioned, like you don't see the value because there is no value. Not that you don't see the value because you're a bad SE, it's just maybe there is no value. Uh, doesn't solve a problem. Or it could be buggy. Or it could be hard to use. There are many tools that are out there that are just not intuitive, you need to be an engineer to be able to understand how to use the software. I used to work on a product that was pretty much that. Like, In order to, to be able to use the product to do your job, you kind of have to have a full-time job trying to learn the product. So I understand that. But then we come to the question is, are customers buy? If the answer is yes, that's good. Then we need to dig in a little bit further. And if the answer is no, then maybe you should just find another job. If the customers are not buying because one of these three problems, then yes, it is a crap product that's not solving a problem or it's too buggy to actually be worth spending time to solve it. Like it's creating another problem of its own. So you won't be able to actually solve the problem. Or it's so hard to use that people just don't use it and therefore you don't sell a lot of it. So it's time to move on and find a different product. If you feel like your feedback is not actually come being used and the, the product is not improving. But if the customers are buying, now that's a different story. And the question, as you can see here, is why are they buying? because it actually does solve a problem. So I used to work on a product that I hated. And, you know, I'm in the industry that's not very like, sexy. It's actually a very boring industry. And I didn't like the products that I sold. Not because they were bad, I just, I didn't like them. I didn't think they were, they were actually good products. And I thought they sucked, but customers kept buying. And then I realized that people, customers buy because it actually does solve a problem. So it's not that they're a bad product. It's a product you don't like. And maybe you should, in that case, fall in love with the problem, not the product. We're always, it's not about the, it's not about you. When we talk about the product, you're always talking about you as the SE. When you talk about the problem, you're talking about the customer. So maybe you should change the way you view things. You know, when, when it's actually solving a problem, then maybe I can ex extract some stories from the customers about why they bought. If the product is so bad, the product sucks, why are they buying? What are the stories behind it? Like, what are the reasons? Uh, one time I broke into a company and the entire time I was thinking, oh, they're just giving us a chance. And it turns out I broke into the company because the competitor that they were using, the incumbent, was messing up in a certain area. I, I think I've told the story before. They were messing up in a certain area. So now I can actually go in and solve the problem that they have. And then I can use that story in other places. And now I know that my product is good in that aspect. So we extracted the stories and then we can reuse those stories. And in the end, if you're, if you still hate it, then find another job. But 
if all of this from actually trying to understand why the customers are buying to extracting the stories and reusing them, that's helped you to, to feel a little bit better about your product. And now you can view your product as not a product that sucks, but a product that actually solves problems. It may have its issues. And here's the secret. No product is free of issues. Otherwise you wouldn't need support. <laughs> we wouldn't need call product. Well, we wouldn't need product verification, but mainly you wouldn't need support to come and actually jump in and help in certain areas. So if you feel a little bit better about it, then great, go out, sell more. If you still hate it, then this product is not for you. Maybe the industry is not for you. Maybe solution engineering may not be for you. So should you find something else to do? These are my thoughts around this topic. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, make sure to like, share, and subscribe and do all the things that you, other YouTubers tell you to do. And I will see you next time. With that, get back to work. Peace.